Welcome to the noon mass here at 1210 at St. Paul the Apostle Church. We're testing the sound system on this day, Wednesday, September 23rd, celebrating the memorial of St. Pius of Petralcina, also known as Padre Pio. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we remember one of our newest saints, and it's Saint Pius of P Pietrelcina, also known as Padre Pio. Padre Pio was born Francesco Forgioni in 1887 in the small Italian village of Pietrelcina. He was a Capuchin priest who received the stigmata. He spent 50 years in the monastery of San Giovanni Rotondo, where he was much sought after as a spiritual advisor, confessor, and intercessor. Despite such notoriety, he would often say, I only want to be a poor friar who prays. His life was devoted to the Eucharist and to prayer. 
He died on this date in 1968 at the age of 81. Pope John Paul II announced the inclusion of his memorial in the general Roman calendar in June of 2002. He's considered the patron saint of civil defense volunteers and of Catholic adolescents. So we'll keep them all in mind. And today's Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Jean Villardo. Let us collect our hearts and minds and center ourselves in the spirit of the living God. Lord Jesus, you have made us one with you in your family of disciples. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you heal the wounds of sickness and sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are our way, our truth, and our life. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring all of us to everlasting life. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest St. Pius of Pietrelcina a share in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry, renewed the wonders of your mercy. Grant that through his intercession this day, we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ, and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Every word of God is tested. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Add nothing to his words lest he reprove you, and you will be exposed as a deceiver. Two things I ask of you. Deny them not to me before I die. Put falsehood and lying far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Provide me only with the food I need. Lest, being full, I deny you, saying, Who is the Lord? Or being in want, I steal and profane the name of my God. The word of the Lord. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Your word, O Lord, endures forever. It is firm as the heavens. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. From every evil way I withhold my feet, that I may keep your words. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Through your precepts I gain discernment. Therefore, I hate every false way. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Falsehood I hate and abhor. Your law I love. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Re 
repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve, and he gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and heal the sick. He said to them, Take nothing for the journey, neither walking stick, nor sack, nor food, nor money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. And as for those who do not welcome you, when you leave that house, shake the dust from your feet in testimony against them. Then they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Three short points about this gospel. One, we know from our faith that God gives up on no one. Yet, here when Jesus says, if people do not come to Christ because of you, shake the dust off your feet, meaning recognize your limitations. We're not going to be able to bring everyone to Christ or to join the church. It's in God's hands. But it doesn't excuse us from not trying. Second point. To send out the apostles with nothing it made them dependent on the kindness of strangers. It's also kind of interesting that this way of living the gospel, which St. Francis and the Franciscans particularly emulate, does depend on the fact that not everybody gives up everything to follow Jesus, because who then would give money to the alms, those who called for alms? Who then would be able to provide for people of faith and ministers and the church? Yet again, what can we do to apply that idea to ourselves? And that is, what was really at the heart? Why did Jesus descend, send them out dependent on others, but to draw goodness out of them, to draw the best of what was in them, compassion, kindness, solidarity. That's the message for us for today. We are called to draw out the good in everyone, just as we depend on Jesus to draw out the good in us. And so, as we come to the Eucharist today, may that be our prayer. Jesus, continue to draw out all that is good in me, so that I, in turn, may invite others to act in the best of themselves, the most kind, the most generous, the most forgiving, the most loving. Let us pray. We pray for the church that she will be a magnet of goodness, the best of all peoples. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all our leaders that they too search deep in their souls in what they long for, for goodness, for truth, for justice, and draw that out amongst the people they serve, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all who have died, especially today for Jean Villardo, for whom this Mass is offered, and we also remember two Paulist fathers who died on this day, Thomas Fox and Peter Shea, and for all who have died through this pandemic, we pray to the Lord. And for all the prayers you've brought with you today, we pause. For these two, we pray to the Lord. 
Thank you, Lord our God, for the gift of faith which brings us together. May we be sanctified in faith, hope, and love this day and always through Christ our Lord. sacrifice will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of God's name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Saint Padre Pio, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant us your pardon through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on this festival of St. Pius, Padre Pio, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, touch her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be broken and given up for you. And in a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy Dolan, our Bishop, and all the clergy and all your faith-filled people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostle Saint Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him and in him, O God, O my mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And may we offer to one another a sign of peace. Anus Dei, cui tolles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Anus Dei, cui tolles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Anus Dei, Cui tolles peccata mundi, non a nobis patem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are all who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those here, perhaps for the first time, we invite everyone from the north side end to come around down the center aisle, then joined by the people in the center aisle north, then the people from the 
the south side extreme coming around and then very last the people here on the south side center aisle. <laughs> to come up for communion, please keep your masks on. And then once you receive the Eucharist in your hand, go to one of the boxes on your left or right to remove your mask, consume the Eucharist with the insurance that we are called, brought in union with Christ and one another, here present and all of those having spiritual communion with us through the internet. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate this feast day of blessed Saint Pius of Pietrelcina, that we may persevere in integrity with the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation that you trace for us. 
through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go forth in peace. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God, all creatures here below. Praise God above the heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Have a good afternoon.